talk to Thomas LeBlanc here yes. in Orlando at the Live 360 conference. Yeah. What are you talking about today, Tom? I, I'm talking about Power BI. I'm going to go through, I call it the four flavors of Power BI. I might have gotten that from somebody else, but I guess now there's five because of the PPU. So I'm, I'm scratching out the free one because right. every free so is different, different licensing models. Right. Okay. And then the other is to show what Microsoft's trying to do with AI and ML inside of Power BI. And the last one is time intelligence. And uh, I really stress about the data model, the dimensional model yes. that's behind it. As do I. As should anyone who, who really wants to use Power BI correctly. So it's interesting, you talk about the, the importance of understanding data modeling. I think for those of us like you and I who've been doing this for decades, yes. and you know, and this topic is near and dear to my heart, you know, yeah. this is what uh, a lot of what, what I do as well. We just take it for granted that people understand star schemas and relationships and keys. Right, and, right. And not everyone comes from that world. Yeah, and, and I was showing a, a person this, this week about the Kimball group. I was like, well, they, they might be retired, but they're... Sure, but they wrote the Bible of, of data <laughs> modeling. Yes, and it's, it's a good resource to go to. I think uh, I think my original book has got yellow yellow pages still in it, you know. But. So does mine, the little little page flags, and, you know, and, and the, the Kimball patterns are out there at, at thekimballgroup.com. Really good stuff. Yeah, yeah, I still reference it today. The book has good examples if I'm in a different industry, insurance, finance, whatever, I can go to that section of the book and see there an example. Now, I might not use their exact example, but it influences my thoughts of architecting something. Um, I know one that I sat through a session at the uh, Dynamics community about performance, and now I'm, I'm starting to make sure these yes or no columns are zero and one bits mm -hmm. instead of instead of text. Uh, just because that little bit in a fact table might make a huge difference in the size of the sure. model. It's easier to store uh, a bit than it is to store text. Yeah, so it's that, that flipping back and forth between fully normalized and fully denormalized. And where is that uh, middle ground to, get, to create a good model for sure. Power BI? Now, Tom, you've been in the industry for a long time. I mean, yes, I've, I have. I've been in the same circles with you for, I don't know, at least 15 years that I can think of. Yeah, I quit counting, but it's because I'm getting older, but yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, thinking back to, uh, you know, the, the conferences and events and, and things that really affected your, your career, um, where did that start? It started at the past summit. Uh, okay. We created a user group in Baton Rouge, it was a .NET user group, and Patrick LeBlanc started a SQL okay. Server user group, so I spoke at there. This is uh, Patrick LeBlanc from Guyana Q. Yes, it is, yeah, and uh, Patrick and I, you know, go back in the Baton Rouge days before he, he moved to Atlanta, and... And, and you, you both have, have Cajun names. Yes, we both yeah. are LeBlanc, yes. Yeah, so, so it's funny joking about that, he, he likes to joke about it, so do I. Yeah. So it's a, it's a good thing uh, to know where your roots came from, you know, especially in Louisiana. But yeah, the past summit, I went to a past summit after finding about it on SQLServerCentral.com and uh, I found so much information there at a conference, I was hooked. And by the second or third, I was telling myself, I can go do that. So when was I, your first past summit? My first past summit was probably 10 or, 10 or 11 years ago. Okay. It was probably 2010, 2011. It was whenever it was in Denver, I believe. Okay. It was the first one. That I was the to. one summit I missed. Oh, was it? Yeah, I started in, in uh, I don't know if it was, it was 04, 05. It was, it was here in Orlando. I remember the first past summit wow. at, at, at uh, Gaylord Palms. Uh, but I missed the one in Denver. Yeah. yeah, so that was my first and I got hooked. I think I missed one live one uh, in that whole from that time to, to this time. Yeah. So uh, I really enjoyed it. The, the, the networking it took me two or three years to understand that part. I thought the speakers were set apart from us attendees, but now I realize that we're all from the same group, a community you know, trying to learn And that's together. an interesting observation. Um, you know, you go to these big conferences and, you know, you, the, the speakers are these book authors and, you know, they travel <laughs> around and, you know, there's, I, I suppose there's some fame and prestige in, in all of that. But I think generally in, in our community, everyone's very approachable and, and willing yes. to share. Yes, they are. You just got to walk up and talk to them. They had a networking here last mm -hmm. night at Live360, we went to the Hard Rock Cafe, and I just walked 
walked around and just started talking. So that that uh, hard part of uh, me just walking up to a stranger and speaking, it, these conferences have broke that barrier for me. I, I have no problem yeah. walking to someone and speaking, and if it doesn't go well, I just go to the next person. Well, and isn't it awesome that we're we're here in person for the first time yes. in, in the you know year and a half? Yeah, it's been, been kind of a dry period. Yeah, we're, you know we're socially distanced. We got our wristbands, we got our tests, <laughs> and you know we're we're wearing the masks when right, we're out you know right. mingling among everybody. Go Tigers! But, yeah. <laughs> But uh, so so so, what's next? What are you looking for in the next year? So we're going to try to crank up some more of our user groups in Baton Rouge. Okay. Um, Sequel Saturday is a real big deal in Baton Rouge. We mm -hmm. had a I know You've average really attendance big. of five or six hundred people. They the .NET mm -hmm. user group is online. They're doing it Twitch and YouTube combination. Mm -hmm. uh, I spoke to a guy that's Power BI like me about starting up a new Power BI user group. But I think it's gonna be, you know, a good it seems to me about a good three to six months before an in person thing still happens in Baton Rouge. But we're gonna try it and we're gonna hopefully we'll get that group together. There's a good core group. We just need that one leader to stand up and move forward. Yeah. We're doing a sequel Saturday. I was here two weeks ago, there was a sequel Saturday in Orlando and um, it was small, but at least they started. It was great to see Steve Jones and Andy Warren. I got a picture of them together giving out uh, prizes, and it just brought back all that, you know, nostalgia about being at the Sequel Saturdays and the whole yeah, purpose. Yeah, well, and they started it. They started yeah, Sequel so that was Saturday. Cool. Yeah, it was really pretty, cool to see that. Awesome stuff. You work pretty hard in 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 your job. What what do you do to get away? How do you disconnect? How do I disconnect? Yeah. I put my phone in a certain place in the house where I just don't get up to answer it. Okay. And uh, I have two children, and uh, they need a lot of love and attention, so I have to. I spend a lot of time with them. I do Cub Scouts with my son. Okay. He's playing soccer. Cool. I walk to the park with with them, and, and we just get outside and do something. You know, it's it's family type stuff. All right. Awesome. Thanks, Todd. No Appreciate problem. It.